Welcome back to our channel. Today, I have a chicken in the house and she has poopy butt. Most chicks that are younger get this more, more often than older chicks, but as your girls get older, their vent kind of creates a shelf. So the poop is more likely to get stuck. You can kind of see how she has a lot of poo under there. So that is what we are trying to clean up today. It's super easy. You fill a basin or your sink with warm water and then, and then you're just gonna put the chicken in it. If it's really bad and it's crusty, you're gonna wanna let it sit for a few minutes and then you're just gonna go in, put some gloves on and just work it free. I don't have any gloves, so I'm just gonna go all in. So I'll show you how easy it is to take care of poopy butt, <laughs> of a dirty vent on an older chicken. She is very wet, but her vent is clear. Looks like she has some staining of her feathers from it. I did wash it with a baby soap and I rinsed it well. Now I am going to take her in the room. You're going to want to dry them off very well. If you live in a cooler climate and it's still cool like here in upstate New York, I just take her to the spa. I blow dry her and Usually, they love it, so I will try to show you that. All right, I'm sitting at my vanity. I have my hair dryer. We had to kick the kitten out because she was very curious. So what I'm gonna do, just blow dryer. And most likely, she won't mind. You can kind of see how her feathers are getting nice and fluffed back up. She's going to have a little fluffy butt now. I'm going to finish drying her and I will show you how she looks after a few minutes at the spa. Alright, so let me show you what it looks like after she is all blow dried and nice and pretty and fluffy. You can see where the poop was. It kind of stained a little bit, but I am actually going to trim up some of these feathers on her back end. So we hopefully don't have this problem again. As you can see, I just trimmed them up and you can almost see <laughs> where it sticks out a little bit. Like I said, she is four years old so hopefully she will have no trouble with poopy butt, no more. So as you can see, her rear end looks a lot better. And just remember that it's not only the young chickens that get poopy butt, pasty butt, um, and we have to make sure that we are keeping an eye on it. We will give her some treats and send her back out in the coop. And a <laughs> warning, the, how your chicken acts is completely dependent upon how I guess you've raised them. Our girls are super friendly. They have been around us since they were babies. They're literally like dogs. We have cookouts and they mooch like dogs. But I think she is feeling better already she's not she's not even trying to move so that chicken is on its way back out to the coop so it is super simple if the pasty butt is really bad fill your sink or basin up with warm water let it soak there for a few minutes you can add some baby shampoo if you want and then you're just gonna use your hands and just kind of free it up and you'll notice that it will just kind of crumble, crumble apart. And then you're gonna 
pat her dry with a towel and if it is warm where you are you know you can if you got her pretty dry they can go outside to dry off or my instance it is not even 60 degrees here so I took her and gave her a little bit of a spa day and as you can see she really enjoyed being in the house <laughs> but out to the coop she goes so I hope that you feel more confident if you notice one of your older hens with poopy butt pasty butt dirty vent whatever you want to call it it is very important to keep that area clean because it is not only a reproductive it's where they poop from so we want to keep it clean well thanks for checking out this video we will see you on the next one